Exporting IGES files from Creo is really easy with NitroCell. I'm going to open up a small assembly here. And uh, this comes from my current working directory, which is uh, displayed down here in this window. So to export the IGES file, uh, all you have to do is come in and say, uh, select the model object type, and then for the action, scroll down to export IGES. By default, it's going to use the active model that's currently in session. And the target location and or name is also going to use the target, the uh, default uh, active model uh, as its uh, naming reference. So if we just come in and say do it, uh, it's going to write out an IGES file directly to my current working directory. So to test this, I'm just going to drag it in and open it up and create a new model. And you'll see that after the conversion is done, we get our IGES file uh, generated. Now, that's nice, but I don't really like to put IGES files and all that stuff in my working directory. So I'm going to go create an export directory that is a subdirectory. And we're going to rename the model too. So in this case, I'm going to accept the current active model that's already here, but I'm going to put it to my export directory and I'm going to call this final speaker. It'll automatically add the file extension to the end. So when we say do it, to change that directory. When we say do it, you'll notice that it connects to Creo, exports the data, and, ge and generates the IGES file in the subfolder that we've created. To make sure it works, we're going to open it up, wait for the conversion, and you'll see that it comes in just fine.